Indian man spied for Pakistan in exchange for nudes. <laughs> yes, God. Okay. In India, Indians, India's Crime Inspection Department, or the CID, apprehended a man enticed by Pakistan's Inter-Services Intelligence, or ISI, to leak sensitive information with nude photos of women and seductive conversation with them, <laughs> conversations with them, India Today reported. <laughs> he added that his greed for more pornography led him to reveal secret military information. <laughs> Um, Sat, uh, Satyan Narayan, Narayan uh, Paliwal has been booked and arrested by the CID special branch on espionage charges. He has confessed to being in touch with an agent of Pakistan intelligence of the Pakistani intelligence agency and possessing sensitive military information, said Rajasthan police, as per a report in uh, ANI. While being interrogated, uh, Paliwal claimed women tempted him on behalf of ISI. They uh, often had erotic conversations with him and shared nude photos to persuade him to share information regarding the army's movement in border areas in the Pakran firing range. Paliwal said he became greedy and started sending more sensitive information about the Indian agency, uh, Indian army to the agency for more photos and long conversations. <laughs> that must be some off some bobs and vagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To yeah, make yeah. him betray his country like that. And and Luke is bringing up a he Luke just read my mind because he's saying this is what happens when you ban sexy cop. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're saving your country by giving you blasphemous arts that the sexy blasphemous arts, so you don't have to ask give away sensitive information. Wait, I don't understand. The um the does this guy not know how to get porn online like does he not know like it's like it should be very easy maybe the like what effect i i i think he was maybe under the impression that these were real women he was talking to and i think thank you Hara sultan Hara sultan is saying bobs and vagine um right. <laughs> um i think he was under the impression that these were real women that he was talking to um and that maybe like made it more Tantalizing mm -hmm. and titillating. Well, it's not real. And we know it wasn't real women. It was just like people, other people pretending. That's definitely what it sounded like, based on um the way that I read the reports on this. Wait, yeah, so the Pakistan doesn't sounds like the ISI was, you know, setting him up, kind of, or fishing to see what would happen. That was like the to, impression like to I catch got. a predator style. To catch a predator style. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Okay, no. So wait a minute. So pocket. I. By the way, people know ISI is uh, Pakistan's intelligence agency, right? So, um, I don't understand. Pakistan's intelligence agency could not afford some real sexy Pakistani woman to come and do FaceTime with this guy. I mean, you're getting secret information. You had to get Armin, men. Armin, here's the deal. They didn't even need to. Hmm. They didn't even need to go to that length. They probably could have. They didn't even need to. <laughs> That's how much this guy needs the Bob and Vagine. I was going to say, he's such a Bob and Vagine addict. He was jonesing so hard. All they had to do was dangle a little in front of him, and he was giving up, you know, all kinds of stuff. All right. It so it's so not funny. that. Um, so it's like, so, it, so it's not that he just wanted like any porn. He just wanted, he thought that this is very special because he was getting it from, I'm hearing a little bit of echo. If you could reduce my volume, that would be great. Um, or mute yourself when I'm talking. Um, he, he, he wanted to make sure that he's, like, the reason why this was so appealing to him is because he thought that he's in conversation with the people that he's getting the bobs and the jeans from, right? I believe That's why so. this was, okay, okay, okay. So uh, Matthew was saying mission S-I-M-P. <laughs> I think both Pakistan and India should go and recruit like their sexiest woman. If I mean, I'm pretty sure like the the, the level of this, I bet you 
that the level of desperation in India, both India and Pakistan has become, has gotten so high that both countries could actually use their sexiest woman as a way to um, get leaked information from the other side. That should be that should be a movie. Katie this is saying a movie. mission simp possible. <laughs> <laughs> and Ali is saying betrayed country for country, except the second one is spelled a little bit different. Yeah. <laughs> and Luke saying, "Is this reverse love jihad?" <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh my god! Man, man. So, um, this is uh, this is just delightful news. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, it was really funny. Um, Har Sultan did a video on this, and I believe I commented something like, uh, "This is why they need sexy Kali." Like he could have yeah. he could have used some sexy Kali, and we could have avoided this whole situation altogether. Um. But, but he's not going to be able to speak to sexy Kelly. That's what I he think, wants. Oh, you're right. He wants that 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 personal edge. Hmm. Um, Maybe I mean, it's have a fantasy. sexy Kelly doll or something you with a come. you know tape in there no. to say certain things. <laughs> I'm guessing the the uh, there's the idea of this whole scenario is add something to it. Like, it's not just the, uh, like, I'm just guessing, right? Like, I'm just saying, I, I, it's not just the naked body. It's the idea of like the tension, the secrecy, the suspense behind this exchange. I think that must be because it can't be just because of Bob's and the jeans. There must be something that like, makes this whole thing a lot more exciting than just watching like you know i think oh, he so. did I think, like, say that he was like in conversation with them and it almost felt like it was a relationship or at least he perceived it that way to some degree in terms I of think the, the, you know i think what's at stake here and him giving out like talking to a female spy that just like you know, something like that. There must be something more to it than just like, yeah, I need to see naked body. I think like the, 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 this guy's fantasy was like, I don't know. I don't think like, yeah, I don't think this guy's like even sexy Callie would satisfy this guy. I don't know. I'm just trying to, I can't, you can't be that desperate that just like, I just need to see some titties and I will be like. Armin, I think, I will, I think you underestimate the male population or overestimate mm -hmm. them. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know. Like, like I said on our our Q and A, a lot of men have a hard time managing one relationship, okay, <laughs> or even landing one relationship, let alone uh, managing it, okay. <laughs> this man, oh, yeah, he, he admitted his own, his own, his own greed for the titties. Greed for nudes. What? Look at this poster. What is this? Oh, someone just made, like a funny meme out of this. I thought this was funny because they they made it look like a, a movie poster, right? A story and of betrayal and honey trap. The honey <laughs> trap, right? Like in, they trapped him, you know, but they trapped him with honey. They honey trapped him, yeah. You know? It's just, it's just chef's kiss. Mm. Oh, yeah. That was, yeah, that was pretty good. Um, Okay, look at look at. Uh, should I shame somebody in the Facebook live chat? I know who you're going after. Maybe look at this. if they keep it up. No, no, I'm gonna shame them. Yes, okay, let's do this. I might have missed it, but do you guys actually talk about the important things? Um, Lorraine, you were here at the top of the show where we're you talking were... about freeing a secular activist from judicial harassment. We started yeah, the show. With you're the an idiot, Lorraine. Going on in our community? Are you? Are you? You're a moron. Me? You were here. You were right here with us. You idiot. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I have to call you out. Okay. Yeah. You were commenting on it. God damn it. Yes, we talk about. And again, here's another thing. What a way to get actually an audience to talk about uh, to pay attention to important things 
is to talk about fun things. So you grow an audience. Oh. So you expose them to important things. That's a strategy. Okay. You, you give them, you promise them some dessert so you could ma make them eat their vegetables. That's how it works. Okay. And also subscribe to our newsletter because if we get removed from all these uh, platforms, at least we could reach out to you. And guys, by the way, if you subscribe, to our newsletter, you get a free copy. Uh, why there's not? Where's your copy, Susanna? Get it, get it, get it. We're doing promotion. You get a free. It's not even promotion. It's free. Okay. So if you subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description, you get a free copy of Why There's No God. Ah, come on. Like I'm handing it out for free. Okay. It's a bestseller on Amazon, and you get it for free. So subscribe to our newsletter. And you get a free copy of Why There's No God sent to you. Link in the description.